Hey guys, Adam Middlesworth here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Instagram story advertisements. So if you're familiar with Instagram, you're probably familiar with Instagram stories, and that's probably why you're on this YouTube video. So I'm going to go over the three different ways you can create an Instagram advertisement, specifically for real estate and mortgage, because that's what we do. Uh, but this pertains to all local businesses. If you have a gym, a dentist office, even if you are a dental, excuse me, a digital marketing agency, or if you're a consultant or whatever you're doing, right? This this will work for you, right? So there are three different ways that you can uh, use this strategy. The first is obviously just doing video, right? Just take out your phone record yourself. That's what people do on Instagram stories already. So the easiest way to do that is just record yourself. The second way would be to use a slideshow. So a slideshow is something within Facebook that you can actually go and create multiple images and it'll kind of create a slideshow effect. That works really, really well in real estate and mortgage. And the third would be a just a static image that is cropped to the, the size of a phone. So I'm gonna show you all three of those. We're gonna dive right in here and actually go and create an ad from scratch. So we're gonna click on create ad. And from here, uh, I am going to go and create a new campaign. And there are different objectives. Um, really briefly, you've got traffic, you've got conversions, you've got engagement, you've got video views. All of these are used for different things. Um, it depends on really why you are running your advertisement. Most often, you're looking for leads. So what you would do if you're looking for leads is do either conversions, which would be a landing page. You're going to send them to a landing page. And the idea of that is to have them fill out their name, email, or even phone number and take them to a thank you page where you would track that. Or you can do lead generation, which is essentially a landing page within Facebook. So that's what we're gonna use, it's the easiest uh, to start with. So we're just gonna call this IG Stories example. We're gonna click continue. Uh, I'm not gonna go super in depth into the ad targeting or anything like that. I've got other videos that I can link below to that. Um, the only thing that we need to do here, uh, I'll, I'll, I have other videos that go over the, the actual audience, but we'll, what we need to do in the ad set itself is choose the placements. That's where we're going to choose the Instagram stories. So we don't want Facebook, right? We don't even want the Instagram news feed. We just want Instagram stories. You can kind of see what this will look like right here, right? So we've got that selected. We're just gonna continue here. I've got other videos on budget and things of that nature. So to be able to do this, um, you need to either have a single image or a single video, right? So the video would be what I was talking about with, um, with just throwing out your, your phone and recording yourself, right? Hey, I'm Adam Middlesworth, welcome to my channel kind of thing, right? And then you would have them say, swipe up for more information or, you know, swipe up for this listing information or swipe up for more pictures. Or if you're a mortgage loan officer, swipe up to see if you qualify for our special financing programs, right? So um, that would be the video part of things. I highly recommend doing that one. But you can also do a single image here, right? And so if you want to do a single image, I highly recommend that you go to canva.com. It's a free tool that you can use. And if you want to do an Instagram story, you would just go and type in Instagram story. And they've already got this, uh, that size pre-selected for you. And what's cool is they already have a lot of different templates for you here on the left-hand side where you can go and say, man, they've already got this, you know, uh, perfectly done. I don't really want to mess with it. Uh, I'm just going to use their template. Um, so you would essentially just, just take one of these. Let's see if they even have a real estate specific one. So you could use one of these if you wanted to, um, or just go and create your own. I'm just going to use one from over here, just so that you can see what this looks like. Right? Let's just do this one, just so that you can see what this looks like. Right? 
So this looks like it's actually a paid one. Um, let's go use a free one. So this is what a free one would look like, right? So obviously you're going to want to tailor this. You can add an image to this, right, of the home that you want. You obviously want to um, go and take that either with your phone uh, or if you can crop uh, one of your professional photos for that, that would work as well. I'd highly recommend just going and taking pictures with your phone, make sure that it's high quality. Uh, and then you can even do multiple pictures in this same deal. You Then you would just download this. So click on this button, download, and then come back to the creation and go and browse or, excuse me, upload the image. And then you can go from there. You can also create more um, either images or videos. So if you wanted to do a few, so if you had a listing, you could say, hey, this is the front of the home, check it out. And then you could have another app, another video that would say, oh, this is the, the kitchen, it's got, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you can go on a, onto a third video and say, oh, this is the backyard, it's got X amount of space, perfect for the kids, perfect for your dog, whatever you want to do, right? Um, that's the carousel part of things if you wanted to do multiple videos. And the last one I told you about is a slideshow. This is by far the easiest, um, and it requires actually you to use Facebook as well. So you can do Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed, Facebook stories, and Instagram stories. So with that one, you'll have to go back and select different placements. So you have to go back here and select Facebook newsfeed, Facebook stories, and Instagram feed. And that's okay, we do this for our real estate and loan officer clients all the time and it actually decreases the cost per impression and cost per lead eventually, not to get too in depth into things. So once we've done that, we can go back and click on continue and the slideshow should show up. So if you click on slideshow, you can go and create your own, you can create your slideshow here. I've already created one so that you can see what this looks like really quick. Um, and I've already got copy in here, but this is what this slideshow would look like. I think you have to go to Newsfeed to check it out. But you're just going to say beautiful homes. Uh, you know, if you've got a homes list, if you've got a listing, you can kind of go through here and put, hey, this has got a beautiful kitchen, it's got a beautiful backyard, it's in a beautiful area. And that's going to show up in all of these news feeds and in Instagram stories. This is what it looks like. All right, so it's going to continue doing this it actually looks okay you can have the ad copy you can have a, a, a little bit of a teaser there and it'll still show up really really well and this is engaging into the Instagram stories it looks good and it, it kind of goes through so this works really well guys if you have any questions on that I know I went really fast through all of that and didn't really cover much of the targeting I have uh, in the description below, perfect real estate and loan officer targeting. I've got a few other on how to go and do Facebook uh, real estate ads and mortgage loan ads. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you also want to subscribe to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.